Call the air and that lets you save the Who cares? True form life. Green look on the Welcome to Exploring Mind and Body with Drew Tadia. Drew is an expert in nutrition, fitness, lifestyle, and more. And he wants to help you live a healthier, longer, and more active life. Now here's your host, Drew Tadia. Welcome to another edition of Nationally Syndicated Exploring Mind and Body. Thanks so much for being here with us. Thanks for tuning in and being a part of our True Form Life community, whether you're listening on terrestrial radio across the country or as a podcast around the world. We certainly wouldn't be here without you. Today, we got Dorothy Keith coming back on to talk about sleep and sugar. More directly, how sugar affects your sleep. We got all kinds of tips and takeaways. Another jam-packed show. So sit back and enjoy. We got all that coming up on... This is Exploring Mind and Body. Naturally improve your lifestyle one show at a time with your host, Drew Tadia. All right, let's get this show rocking. We have Dorothy Keith with us back. She's always bringing energy and enthusiasm and awesome information. Dorothy is part of our team, True Form. She is does our monthly membership group. She does recipes, meal planning, grocery shopping lists. She does one-on-one coaching. She's writing a recipe book. she got all kinds of things going on, and we're super excited to have her back on the show. Without further ado, welcome to the show, Dorothy. Thanks for having me on, Drew. I always love coming on and participating. Yeah, it's our pleasure. So today we're talking about sleep and sugar, how they're related to one, each other, one another. One another. (laughs) And you know what the thing is? I think a lot of times people just don't relate the two. And this is actually one of my favorite topics because of what you just said, Drew. A lot of times we just accept, oh, I'm not a very good sleeper. But really, there are some things that we can do to help increase and improve our sleep. And like you said, a lot of people just don't know. So that's what we're here. We're here to help you out and and teach you some strategies so you can get a better restful night's sleep. That's right. So today we're going to talk about, as Dorothy mentioned, a number of different things to help improve your sleep. And it's going to be related around sugar because... Sugar is horrible, (laughs) and it's in everything. That is the most difficult part of cutting out sugar, is that it is literally in everything. So you have to become very aware of reading ingredients, which is... It's constant, especially if we are buying different or new products. We have to be sure to read the ingredients because you just never know. And more chances than not, there's going to be sugar in it. Yeah, that's the thing. And it's kind of disappointing when it's a trusted company that you know, and then they kind of randomly have a product that we wouldn't exactly approve of. But I mean, it happens. And I think once you become more aware of the companies that you purchase from and who's behind them, who who stands behind them, then it becomes easier, but you still have to read the ingredients. So for me, I didn't exactly know the company, but I went and grabbed a coconut water and I didn't think about it. I cracked it and I took a sip and I was like, whoa, like that's not coconut water. There's like a bunch of sugar in there and probably some other toxins. So then, of course, flipping around, read the ingredients, and I was like, sugar. Yeah. So uh, it happens to all of us, but that, but that's why we're here. We're here to ex- explain and express like these are the things that we experience in our lives, and you or should exp- or you'll experience them too. So we have to learn from one another and understand that how important it is to read ingredients because you never know what's going to be in them. But raising awareness, I think, for us right now is that uh, helping you guys understand that. Sugar is a stimulant and it will keep you up at night. So when we talk about reading ingredients, we're talking about sugar as a stimulant. We have to understand that if we're having a snack right before bedtime and there's sugar in it, that's going to play a large role in why we can't sleep. So we have to pay attention to the foods we're putting in our body right before bedtime. Otherwise, we're going to be putting foods that consume sugar and keep us up for that reason. And it might not be that you're up through the entire night, but it might be that you wake up a few times throughout the night or your body doesn't get into that nice deep sleep because it's really hard on our bodies to digest and process sugar. So while we're supposed to be resting, repairing our muscles and rejuvenating, like our body is while we sleep is rejuvenating, 
what it's doing is it's trying to process this toxin that we've just put in our body because our body doesn't recognize it. Our body doesn't know what to do with it. So while we are supposed to be in this restful, recovery, rejuvenating state where our body's put into overload, trying to figure out what to do and how to process this substance. So you're really not getting, even if you are sleeping, you are not, your body isn't uh, healing. Yeah, that's a great point. And I think I think about like a giant bowl of pasta or maybe like a big slab of meat. We we so many times we eat this late into the evening and then we wake up and we're groggy. Maybe we haven't slept. We slept worse than we usually do. And it's really our body trying to digest this food and heal ourselves at the same time. So our body goes through so much in the evening, so much recovery or should be while we're sleeping and we should be we should be in a restful night's sleep, but we just don't. And and I think many times we're looking at sugar, for example, or you could be looking at a big piece of meat or a big bowl of pasta, like that's converted into sugar at some point. We're mainly talking about refined sugar here, but like Dorothy was saying, if you don't have that restful night's sleep, if you're not getting through a deep sleep for a consistent period of time, you're really not getting the rest that you need. So when, we, when it comes to sleeping and sugar, the next thing is, like the other things that are in the packaged food. So many times it's not just sugar. There's other ingredients in there as well that we should be paying attention to. Yes, there are, Drew. Let's go over some. (laughs) Well, I think for us, it's important to read ingredients all the time, not just right before bedtime. But when we're looking at other types of stimulants, like for example, some people I'd imagine might have a Coke or might have a pop in the evening. And then that, that, you know, that's going to keep them awake and alert and alive. That comes back to a stimulant but there's other things like there's food coloring we should pay attention to there's other chemicals and preservatives that are also detrimental to our health so and i know our main topic here is sugar and sleep but also pay attention to the other things that you're putting in your body as well and we know it's a difficult process and it does take some more time so if you're just starting out just start with one thing just start with the sugar and then once you're comfortable with eliminating sugar then start looking at something else like food coloring and and those other toxins that are put into our food because if we have 10 different ingredients that we're trying to keep out of keep out of our our food for example it can be very overwhelming so just start with one thing and then build from there before we get into the show i just want to mention complete truth protein this is a plant-based protein supplement that we've designed ourselves at true form and the reason i designed it is because i felt like there was a need in the industry now when i was traveling around the world and i had a I literally had a tackle box full of supplements and products and vitamins that did a whole lot more damage than good so when i started doing more personal training and fitness classes people would ask me what types of supplements i would recommend and I always say eat food. <laughs> so that's why I've designed Complete Truth Protein around food. It's made with quinoa and hemp seeds. And one of the main benefits that it offers is improved digestion. So many of us deal with digestion issues on a regular basis. It also gives you a natural boost of energy. So if you head over to trueformlife.com slash complete truth protein, we have tons of more details, videos, recipes, and everything you need to get going in the right direction with a good quality protein supplement. Trueformlife.com slash complete truth protein. Maybe we could talk about some alternatives to sugar. Like you mentioned a couple that you use in baking, but I think it's important to let people know that there's other things that they can consume. So instead of having, I don't even know what people would snack on in the evening, maybe a bag of chips. (laughs) <laughs> That's something that often comes up with me, like popcorn, for example, would be a healthy alternative. Yeah, and I think snacking in the evening a lot of times or a good percentage of the time comes from boredom. So we're sitting in front of the TV or we're sitting around like waiting for bedtime and we just don't know what to do so we go to the pantry and then we grab the chips grab the cookies grab the crackers what whatever it is and 
are it's comforting as well. Comfort food. Comforting as well <laughs> in the evening. So if we had an emotional day or a stressful day or or not feeling the best mentally, a lot of times we're going to grab for those types of foods as well. And we're not saying that snacking at night is bad. We believe that we should be snacking in the evening because well, having a snack in the evening, not snacking throughout the evening, but we should have a bedtime snack. Our uh, most of us um, are going without food or sleeping, hopefully, for seven, eight hours. So that's a long time for our body to be without food. So if you stop eating at six, you know, there's that that old rule that says, oh, we shouldn't eat anything after six o'clock or seven o'clock. Or if we add those hours onto it, it's going to be, your body's going to be put into a state of Fasting. Fasting. (laughs) So we want to avoid that and we want to keep our metabolism running at an efficient rate, which means snacking in the evening is a is a must for us. And I actually think that good quality food, like I I really think it helps us sleep. Mm. Like, you know, I'm not I don't know that like the chemical balance or what's going on inside, but for me, if I'm hungry, I I don't sleep very well. No. But if I have something in my stomach, like if I maybe something warm or something that I like is is like I don't know nutrition wise and like makes me feel good like comfort wise emotionally and physically then I just feel like more content to sleep well yeah I'm the same way absolutely I think we should give some examples of what we would have in the evening for a nighttime snack yeah there's a lot of different things I we just did a show called uh, one of Dorothy's shows she does a uh, cooking with Dorothy live every Tuesday evenings at 7 p.m. mountain time And in that regard, she made this amazing cheesy kale chip recipe. Oh my gosh, you guys, they are so delicious. And it's interesting because before the show, Drew and I hadn't had kale chips in quite a long time. And I'm not sure why, because it's like heaven on earth, (laughs) these kale chips. And they are so simple to make. So... You, all you need is a head of curly kale or a bunch, I guess, of curly hair. It's not really a head of <laughs> lettuce here. And we just bake them in the oven on, on low. For We do have to prep them with some uh, coconut oil. And we put Himalayan salt and nutritional yeast on them. And then we bake them in the oven for a short amount of time. I think it takes like 15 minutes. And... Just having things like that on hand is so important. So you have something healthy, something you look forward to eating because it tastes so good. <laughs> I think that's important. A lot of times we have a have in our, I don't know how to explain it, but in our brain, we have these thoughts that healthy doesn't taste good. <laughs> but in this case, like with the kale chips, you can look forward to eating them because they are delicious. <laughs> you know, to be honest with you, they're hard to keep in the house. And we were doing cooking with Dorothy and people are like, oh my gosh, I can't believe how easy this is or I can't believe how good it tastes. We gave some our neighbors some to taste and they were like, wow, these taste great. So I think some people are like, ew, kale chips without even trying them. But they are amazing, I got to tell you. So emotionally, they give you something to look forward to in the evening. Nutrition wise, they give your body something to absorb and digest as well late into the evenings. And I think it just changes your whole mindset if you have something like kale chips, for example. And we'll give you other ones if you're not a kale chip person. But if you have something like kale chips to look forward to that's healthy and nutritionizing and tasty, then you're not like, oh, like... Some people like go through anxiety when it's like they're watching TV at night, flipping their, their news feed or bored pacing around their house before they go to bed. And they're like, oh, my gosh, I know I'm going to go to the pantry and I know I'm going to feel guilty about it. What can I do? Well, this is something you can do. Mm-hmm. But in another thing is to like mindset wise, it's important to think of abundance rather than deprivation. So a lot of times we're like, I can't have potato chips or I can't have a chocolate bar. But instead of focusing on the can't, focus on the abundance, like being grateful for having a healthy snack, a healthy bowl of kale chips, for example, because trust me, they're crunchy, they're salty, they're delicious. (laughs) So you can head over to trueformlife.com for that full recipe. 
recipe that Dorothy put together for us. Another one, one of our favorites is popcorn. Oh, yes, cheesy popcorn. <laughs> Air pop popcorn as well. So we're not a fan of microwave popcorn. In my book, Detoxify Yourself, I talk about popcorn lung is what it's key. Like the name of it is because people that work in these factories have gone through some crazy health issues because they're producing this popcorn. And I'm thinking that if they're going through these issues, creating it, then they, we may be going through some issues eating it. Eating it. And that's a good point. And it, do, it seriously doesn't take more time to make your own popcorn. You pull the popper out of your out of your cupboard or your pantry, put the seeds in. It takes minutes to pop. And then we put some melted coconut oil on Himalayan salt and nutritional yeast, which is the same three ingredients we use for the kale chips. So if you have those three ingredients on hand, then you have a choice of kale chips or popcorn. Just want to take a minute to mention Complete Truth Protein again. This is a protein supplement that we designed at True Form. We believe in food. We believe food heals, cures, and prevents. That's why this product is much different than your conventional types of products. Unfortunately, packed with chemicals, preservatives, toxins that our body doesn't know how to utilize, digest, and absorb. So that's why Complete Truth Protein can help improve your digestion and will offer a natural boost of energy. You can find more details at trueformlife.com slash complete truth protein. Yeah, super easy, and they t- again, they taste amazing, and it's and it's nutritionizing. So it's going to help fuel your metabolism. It's going to help you burn body fat. It's going to give your 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 mind like the mental and emotional part of having th- something to snack on and enjoy in the evening so much more so much more benefit, I suppose, to having something like popcorn. Like we're talking about. Mm -hmm. One of my favorites, of course, anyone who knows me, is that I'm a hummus freak. (laughs) (laughs) Dorothy is a big hummus fan. Yeah, I love hummus. I like to throw some hummus on on some veggies. So cut up some cucumbers, some carrots, some celery, some peppers, and just have hummus and veggies. It's very satisfying, very easy to digest. And the nutritional benefits for our body is going to be healing. Our body isn't going to be fighting these toxin substances. Our body's going to be able to utilize those nutrients to help heal our body. Yeah, without question. And if you look at the uh, veggies, for example, there's tons of healing antioxidants that's going to help our body hummus is actually a clean hummus is basically just chickpeas whipped up or blended into a paste dorothy actually has another recipe i feel like i'm just talking about dorothy's recipes here well they are pretty fantastic (laughs) (laughs) dorothy has another recipe on our website that again at trueformlife.com it's just a healthy hummus recipe super easy you can make it at home yourself and the hummus that you make at home tastes so much better than the store-bought kind so you got to give this one a try. But again, hummus is a clean is a clean ingredient. You can put it on sandwiches. You can dip your veggies in it. Dorothy can think of pretty much any way to in- incorporate it into her li- life. I can put hummus on anything. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to mention that it is better to make your own hummus. Yeah, so there's different options here. And there's tons more we can go over, but we'd like to move on for just for a moment. But want to let you know that e- like getting yourself into an evening routine will make such a big difference. Now, if you heard us talk about morning routines at all, we're huge morning routine fans. You can go back and check out a past show. Just head over to exploringmindandbody.com slash morning routine, and that will give you a full show on exactly how we feel about it. But if you get into an evening routine and you set you, you set, excuse me, if you set yourself up for success and for a restful night's sleep, you're going to be so much better off and you're going to start to sleep much more deeply much more 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 healing i suppose i listened to a speaker or read it in a book not too long ago i can't remember about book ending our day or maybe i learned it from you drew i'm not <laughs> sure but how important it is to have a morning routine and an evening routine to book in, book end your day and drew and i have put a lot of work into our morning routine and our evening routine. It does take time to develop, but so worth it. I cannot be a bigger fan of morning and evening routines. Yeah, well, the thing is with morning routines, like you you wake up and you know exactly what you're doing and you set these things up. So maybe you have one thing you start out with, which turns into three or four things because we naturally attract to the things that make us feel better. So we're doing three or four things in the morning, four or five things, let's say. And that sets your whole day up for success. So you feel better, you're emotionally 
um, clear, you're centered, you're ready to go. You're ready to start your day. So think about that example. And then when your alarm clock goes off late or you hit the snooze button, you get up and you're rushed around the house, you're late for work, you got to go to a meeting, your whole day is upside down. So if you set your day up for success, knowing exactly what you're going to do and you follow through with it, you've already been successful. So if nothing else happens right that day, you still have found success. So that's why we're big fans of morning routines. And then we can flip that to the end of the day and we can look at evening routines as well. So if we start getting ourselves into an evening routine, we start getting our mind into a restful state and we do some little things that Dorothy's gonna tell you about here in a second, <laughs> put you on the spot. Um, so we do these little things, it's going to set our whole evening up for success as well. So that's a pretty great day if you book in success at the beginning and success at the evening evening as well. That's right. And talking about evening routine, it's very, we are so stimulated throughout the day. We have computers, we have cell phones, we have TVs, all of these electronics were constantly powered on. So it's really important before we go to sleep to power down. <laughs> so our body needs a chance to power down, meaning turn the TV off an hour before bed or turn, don't, <laughs> bring your computer and your cell phone to bed, please. <laughs> your iPad. Leave Keep your the iPad. Leave your computer, leave your iPad, leave your phone out of the bedroom. Hey, that's a crazy <laughs> one. Like people are like, what do you mean? They, you know, we and we do these workshops and we do presentations and you can see the look on people's faces when you're like, don't have a TV in your bedroom. And it's like a look of shock or like they like we're telling them that something terribly happened in their lives <laughs> so it's important to understand like these are small steps so one of so if you have all these things in your room so maybe you just take your cell phone out for example or maybe you turn the tv off 15 minutes early before you go to bed instead of an hour like we recommend there's little things that we can do and steps that we can take but without question like these things are keeping us awake and alive and alert and vibrant and even if we don't think, like even if we're falling asleep to the TV and we th don't think that it's keeping us up, we're still, it's a, still a stimulant and it's still preventing us from getting a good night's sleep and shutting our brain down. So it can be 100% the next morning. Yeah, that's right. And I just want to mention one more thing because I know phones is a difficult one to keep out of the bedroom because a lot of us rely on our phone alarm clock. <laughs> But you can go to a local thrift shop or Goodwill, and I swear to you, there'll be 20 or more old school alarm clock on the shelf. It's like a graveyard full <laughs> of alarm clocks. So if you're really serious and you really want to make changes to your sleep patterns and remove your phone from the bedroom, then visit a local, instead of going out and buying a brand new, um, you know, alarm clock for for the bedroom visit a local thrift store or goodwill store and you can pick one up relatively cheap i just want to mention complete truth protein here once again before i let you go this is a protein supplement we designed ourselves made with quinoa and hemp seeds also maca and stevia we have two different types of products they both have tons of health benefits you can bake the original bed you can bake with it's perfect for gluten-free flour if you're celiac or gluten intolerant we have tons of recipes on trueformlife.com which include raw protein balls. People absolutely love these ones. We have pancakes, cookies, muffins, all healthy, all clean ingredients. Dorothy puts these together for us on a weekly basis. So if you head over to trueformlife.com, head over to the recipe section. We have all kinds of recipes on how you can use Complete Truth Protein. It's also a vegan and raw product. So if you have any intolerances or if you have any issues with digestion, this will definitely help you out. Once again, that's trueformlife dot com slash complete truth protein you can also go you can also put your phone in the next room and set the alarm on because then you have and then you have to get up to turn it off yeah brilliant <laughs> you have to get up out of bed so many times we sleep through our alarm or hit the snooze button 10 times before we actually get up if you have to leave the room and hit the snooze button and come back and then five minutes later you gotta do the same thing there's a much better chance you're gonna get up Mm -hmm. A couple other things I heard people doing are they set, they have their uh, Google Home or they have Alexa and they set they set those alarms as well and those are in different rooms hopefully and that that helps them get up as well because it's 
you don't have your phone sitting next to you. And you know what the thing is with the phone? Like people are like, oh, what's the big deal with the phone? But like if the phone is next to you, you're, you're going to pick it up. Yes. It's like if there's chips in the pantry, you're going to eat them. Right. If the phone is next to you, you're going to scroll. You're going to text. You're going to use it. Right. So you get a, a notification. Like I'm a big fan. Like I'm not a big fan of phones at all, but I'm a big fan of turning all notifications off. So you actually have to go to your inbox, your email box to see your emails or you have to actually go to Facebook to see who messaged you. But we all have our notifications on. So as soon as we're like, we're falling asleep and then something, our phone dings. And we, of course we have to check it. And then we're our email dings. And of course we have to check it. And then we're stressed out because we have to get up extra earlier. We have to finish the project or our boss moved our deadline closer. So there's so many stresses in our life. Why would we add one more? <laughs> you can tell Drew and I are very passionate about this topic. <laughs> but let's just take it back to the evening routine. So the first step was to turn the power down in no electronics a certain amount of time before bed. So we recommend an hour. But whatever's comfortable or whatever fits fits your lifestyle. So power down first and then what are some next steps drew well some of the other things that like, we like to do is like have a nice like a warm cup of tea for example or, or something soothing something relaxing you can read a relaxing book i'm a big fan of reading both in the morning and in the evening stretching or breathing exercises again i suggest doing these in the morning like many times your morning routine can be very similar to your evening routine but if you're stretching right before bed if you're taking some deep breaths and getting your mind in a restful and peaceful state again it's entirely different than watching an action movie flipping it off and then trying to go to sleep right away that's right and drew and i do do things a little differently and i think everybody will their evening routine morning routines will be slightly different so don't don't think that you and your spouse have to do exactly the same things it is nice if you if you and your partner you you and your spouse do do it together for example like that commitment that support means a lot i know that's not an option for everybody but if you can work towards that i think it'll be a very positive outcome so for me in the evening after we power down i do like to read as well but I really enjoy my angel cards in the evening. So that's something I do on a regular basis. And I feel like it ends my day in a positive, no, on a positive note. But I also really like to oil up. <laughs> and I actually do that my, my, in my, in my, morning routine as well. What I mean by oiling up is essential oils. <laughs> so in the evening, I like to put sleepy time oils. For example, lavender, cedarwood, northern lights, black spruce, for example, are all great for sleepy time oils. And I actually have a bedtime diffuser that I call. <laughs> so Drew makes, well, it doesn't make fun of me, but jokes around. I'm like, okay, uh, I'm almost ready I, to, to go to sleep. I just have to put on my bedtime diffuser. <laughs> <laughs> so diffusing a diffuser in the bedroom can help uh, relax and de-stress the day away as well. Yeah, but, and it, Dorothy's a crazy about her oils, which is awesome. Like they're clean and healthy and we would definitely recommend getting enjoying oils in your life in some way but that's just another tool that we're offering there's so many different ways and avenues that you can get yourself in a restful night's sleep and that's something that that's one thing that you can do that we recommend so many, many things you're like you can take a relaxing bath you can put on soft music you can light a candle like there's endless things that we can do to put ourselves in a restful night's sleep and get help our bodies recover fully before the night before the morning comes always comes a bit early so all, what we really recommend here at the bottom line is start doing something do one thing that makes your make your makes your set yourself up for success whoa excuse me set yourself up for success just a little bit and add those up until it becomes something that you can enjoy and consistency is important too it's something that we should be working towards doing every single day day no matter what and it is more difficult when when we're away i mean drew and i aren't perfect we miss days when when we're away well or... i'm mostly perfect <laughs> oh boy <laughs> own it down drew <laughs> but what we're saying is that even if we get away from it for a little while for three four days while we're away we need to jump back on 
Yeah, for sure. All right, Dorothy, we do have to wrap things up here. Shoot, this was a really good topic. I know, I felt like we just started getting rolling here. <laughs> uh, as always, thank you so much for joining us. It's always a pleasure to have you on the show. Well, it's always my pleasure to come on. <laughs> Thoroughly enjoy coming on the show. Thanks, Drew. All right, that's going to wrap things up for this edition of Exploring Mind and Body. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for being a part of our True Form Life community. And thanks for sticking around till the end. More details about what Dorothy has going on, head over to trueformlife.com slash cooking with Dorothy. She got, she's got all kinds of healthy recipe options, meal ideas, nutrition. It's what she does. Check out Cooking with Dorothy every Tuesday evening on our Facebook page, trueformlife.com slash true or sorry facebook.com slash true form life and that will get you to our live feed once again thank you so much for being here all past shows are going up on exploring mind and body.com if you ever miss a past show you can always check out past shows there we also have a free app that you can download on any apple device so head over to your app store search for exploring mind and body download our show and take us with you wherever you go once again thanks so much for being here that's it that's all i got i'm out of here as always i'm your host drew tadia in health and fitness for a better world. Thanks for listening. You've been listening to Exploring Mind and Body with True Form Life's Drew Tadia, fitness expert. To find out more about the show, Drew Tadia, or to listen to past shows, visit exploringmindandbody.com.